there's no time to turn to examining the sources and subjects of IHL. Examining the sources and subjects of IHL involves asking two main questions. Where we should look in order to find the rules of IHL and whom these rules bind. The two most important sources of international law and IHL are treaties and customary law. We look at treaties and custom in sections 2 and 3 of this chapter's materials. We'll also briefly analyze in section 4 whether some IHL norms are superior to others. We'll therefore consider the hierarchy between rules of IHL. Section 5 and 6 will address two most important subjects of international law, states and international organizations. We'll see that both are also important subjects of IHL. Finally, Section 7 will pay a particular attention to armed groups because there are obviously significant actors involved in armed conflicts. As we'll see, the basic models of international law make the inclusion of armed groups, as well as the legal nature of their commitments, controversial.